that's 82 free done, 82 done even. At 83, you finish the rest of the ring off. I've already started it, I've put the metal connectors on the bottom. Ring. He says it's taking it apart. <laughs> Not a good start, I have to do it again. But, yeah, uh, yeah, you just connect the rest of the ring up like you've done 100 times before. Then you use 2x4mm two screws again. But you've got, you've got a load in the last issue, or last few issues anyway. So you might as well use those. Way you can anyway. Anyway. <laughs> then all you've got to do is go put some sensors on this board, as well, on these, this ring. This would be so the, the head, when it turns 100 and, or not 360, but near enough 360, the sensors will stop it from going any further. So it don't go too far and go all over the place and bug my wires up in the background, you know, underneath the white head anyway. So, see, and you can test them as well. I'll test them on the camera. Well, so I installed them anyway, because that would be a new experience for me, testing these ones. I think that's the first one that's gone awkward, hard in. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was a bit difficult to go in that one. Anyway, that's the top ring completed. A bit like a thrown spear, a thrown ring from Tron, because I think it's Tron. Anyway, let's get back to what we're doing. Right, two sensors, they're both the same. Let's have a check this. Oh, we've got an L and R. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> We got obviously that one's got a big L on it, that's got a big R in it, so can't really mess it up. Can you? It says, probably gonna mess it up later. You will, <laughs> yeah, of course, I will. And you've got two wires, and I think the small two ends on the wires, and one smaller than the other. I'm guessing the smaller end, let's see if the big end goes in there just in case. That right, smaller end goes in there, like so. You can leave the wire tidy on it, it says. I don't think it actually says that, but let's have a look. Nope. I don't say anything about it, but it shows a picture that the wire is still in the, on the tidies. <laughs> done. That's that simple steps. And to do that, that was four steps. <laughs> four steps just to put two wires in two boards. I don't want to do that, I really don't. Throw rubbish on the floor. You get these yeah. weird plastic <laughs> what call them? sensor mounts. They're identical. We'll double check that actually to be sure. Yeah, the same. And you need four of the usual six mil two by six mil screws. Better get yourself ready. Right, so let's see if I can get this right. So you have it so they've got two holes here and they line up with the holes on the sensor mounts there. You have it so the notches, there's notches on the bottom there, away from you so that it, it points towards the notches. It's here. If you're doing your, if you're doing it on, if you're doing it along with me or later on, you'll see what I mean when you do it. See, once you know, once you see it, you know what I mean. <laughs> see, it's, just, it's hard to explain it really, but you'll see. Anyway, and you obviously just put the two by six mil screws into the sensor mounts. I'll show you that close up in a second. You might be able to see what I mean. 84, the next issue and the last issue would be the difficult one. I've seen people having troubles getting the arms that go on the body in and out. If I get it wrong, I will have to consult Facebook and consult a few people how to do it. So I know there's clutch problems and putting the wrong arms the wrong way around. I'll get to that in a bit. You do that on that one and do that with the right sensor and I'll be back with you in a minute. So I'll put it showing you up. Right, that's the sensors done. That's the sensors put in like that. Both of them L and R, same. So you get the metal ring. See this out, out jogged bit here. 
So what you do is you put it on the table like so, That's on the screen, and you get the left sensor. Make sure I get left sensor. Yeah, there's the left sensor. And see these holes on top here. This is where it gets screwed into the into the ring. So you line it up like that. See? Don't do anything in the background. Huh? It locks into the slot there, and you screw it in by two by three by uh, two point three by six mil screws again. And I'll do that off screen. I'll do both both of them. One goes there, and one goes there, and I'll be show you back in a minute. Right, that's it. Them screwed on there. As I said, make sure this the left ones on the left and the right ones on the right. Self-explanatory. Tighten up there so they don't move around. And what you do is you get this center stop as they call it there's got a slot in the middle there and you put it over the extent like that and it lines up the hole and you get a 2.5 by 6 mil flange screw and you screw it in from the top actually make sure it's, the hole's lined up does help slightly <laughs> no point doing this off screen it's only one screw and then that'll be that part of this issue it's not this issue done yet. This has got to be connected to the body that we did a little while ago. We've got that ready on the side here. I'll try to grab that in a sec. That's that screwed in. No one's in the background, are we? <laughs> not me. And he's put it in upside down. What the? Yeah, come on, meet there. <laughs> he says put it the right way around. No, I don't know. People make mistakes. No one's perfect. I wish I was, but anyway. <laughs> it is a bit confusing, though. Where these are put together. But, it's a mistake to make. And there's only one little screw. Oh, it's all weird. Yeah, so I've it that way round. So the set top of the sensors are here, left and right, and then the screws in the back there. That probably doesn't matter too much, I'm guessing. But you know, it might matter later on, so you might as well do it the way of the, uh, the uh, magazine sits. Right, so you get this and the big body we did before. Have it so that the hole is t at the towards you like that. And put the sensors towards you as well, like so. And make sure it don't fall off. <laughs> oh, there is uh, in the leg support you put in a while ago. There are little nuts, uh, little pointy out bits that will hold it in place. So you don't have to wait about falling off now. Then what you do is probably by another. Uh, so you need. Right, wait a second. I need four 2.5 by 4 mil screws. Get those here. I came with a pack that we did before. And a 2.5 by 8 mil screw. I guess it's the 8 mil screw. Yeah, it's 8 mil screw. Right. So, what you do is you get a fit locating your plugs, secure top ring to left support with. 2.5 by 4 mil screw, so 2.5 by 4 mil screws in the leg supports. So I'm guessing the 8 mil screw goes into the pole. Let's have a quick look. Yep. 2.5 by 4 mil screw, 8 mil screw goes into the pole you right in between the sensors here. And then that be it to build on this issue. And uh, next part would be testing the sensors. I will get that all set up off camera, and I'll show you the setup. It's a quick, easy setup, and I'll show you it tested. Hopefully working. I'll test it first myself. <laughs> Although I'll show you it not working. I might show you it not working. We'll see. 2.5 by 8 mil screw into the pole in the back in between the zippers. And you see how big this head is and the body is now. 
Look at that. That is one big heavy piece of metal. I know some models of uh, things that are this heavy. Not even this heavy, some of them. This is one big heavy piece, and it's not even the whole thing. This is going to, well, I think they said it's going to be like 9 kilos, I think this whole thing's going to be. Oh, well, too, with everything in it. Well, when probably when people built this, they'll probably put on scales to see how heavy it is. <laughs> but see, we'll see anyway. Right, that'll be that, and I'll be back with you with the test in a sec. Right, so setup for this is pretty simple. All you need is a battery box and just a tester. Yeah, loads of background noise. You plug it in the usual spot, uh, usual power slot, and you put the left sensor in the left, far left one here, and the light green light lights up. Then what you do, get a bit of card, and if you put it in between the sensor on the bulk pin, that will light, light will go out. See, and you know that's working perfectly fine. As soon as you put it in there, oh. it goes off. And you should do exactly the same with the other one. Turn it to all green. I should step, turn the battery in steps to uh, the test board and usually it's all the same. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the other one. Make sure that's Yeah, good. again, you lighten it up exactly the same as last time. So, right sensor in the left one there. Makes sense, isn't it? <laughs> again, you get a bit of card. Use a. Well, I'm using, see, use that. Perfect. And put it in the right sensor and light goes up. Perfectly fine. Woo! That's a good sign. Now that is 83 done. Thank God. Now for the really difficult issue. There's going to be a lot of hard work. Uh, I'll be back with you that in a minute uh, once I set myself up. In a bit, bye.